गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन वेलकम टू यूनाइटेड हॉस्पिटल जयनगर टूडे इज वर्ल्ड हार्ट डे ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ दिस वी हैव डॉक्टर एल्लूरु संतोष कुमार कंसल्टेंट रेडियोलॉजिस्ट टू स्पीक अबाउट मैनेजिंग हार्ट हेल्थ गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन एंड थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग फॉर दिस फेसबुक सर व्हाट इज हार्ट हेल्थ डे सो इट वाज स्टार्टेड बाय वर्ल्ड हेल्थ फेडरेशन and previously it used to be celebrated on the last sunday of every september every year but from recent past few years it is being celebrated on 29th of september and uh, it is mainly to create awareness about the cardiovascular diseases what is cardiovascular diseases so cardiovascular so the in the name only it is the, the cardio and the vascular cardio means heart and vascular means the vessels or the arteries <laughs> so any diseases affecting both this system is called cardiovascular diseases and uh, the most common uh, diseases which come under this spectrum uh, which is uh, applicable at a community level is uh, coronary artery disease uh, cerebrovascular disease and uh, rheumatic heart diseases and uh, and <clears throat> the number of deaths caused by the cardiovascular diseases is astonishing so it causes almost around uh, 1.8 crore deaths per year worldwide so and also it is the most common cause of uh, mortality worldwide and uh, and the most common cause for the uh, coronary artery disease and the cerebrovascular diseases is atherosclerosis what is atherosclerosis so you know uh, like drainage pipes or the sewage pipes as the year passes by there will be build up of sludge inside the wall and there will be narrowing of the lumen and uh, at particular time and uh, this one it gets completely blocked so the same thing happens with our uh, blood vessels in the art the arteries of our uh, body so there will be deposition of fats lipids and uh, cholesterol and uh, calcium which causes the lumen to be narrowed and uh, some instigating factor which causes uh, the burst of this plaque and causes thrombosis which causes complete blockage of the vessel so this artery will be supplying some organ so when there is complete cut off of the blood to that organ it leads to uh, heart attack or stroke or uh, depending on the organ it affects so what are the effects of atherosclerosis so atherosclerosis is uh, depends on which organ it affects so the most uh, common things are uh, if it affects the heart that is the heart uh, the vessel supplying the heart it causes uh, heart attack and if it uh, affects the vessel supplying the brain then it causes stroke and uh, also if it affects the blood vessels of your limbs like hands legs and uh, fingers or toes it causes gangrene and also recent times due to the increase in the uh, atherosclerosis uh, in the especially the city population there is a increase in the rates of impotence also in males because it affects the artery supplying the male genital organs also sir so how to prevent atherosclerosis or any kind of cardiovascular disease so first before talking that i have to tell the risk factors or the causes for it then we can discuss how to prevent it so the causes or risk factors are not a single thing it is a multifactorial and uh, broadly it can be classified into modifiable and non modifiable risk factors so modifiable risk factors means which you can alter yourself and non modifiable means you cannot alter so modifiable risk factors are uh, <coughs> smoking <coughs> obesity hypertension increased uh, cholesterol or uh, lipids in your blood and uh, <coughs> being inactive and leading a stressful life these are all causes of uh, atherosclerosis and these are all modifiable so there are few things which are non modifiable also like age as you age the chances of atherosclerosis definitely increases so that you cannot modify and also the gender of the patient so females are less prone to atherosclerosis and uh, strokes and heart attacks and also different ethnic uh, people have different uh, risk so the africans uh, african blacks and uh, the african americans have the highest uh, risk risk for developing uh, these kind of diseases so, and uh, prevention yeah so how to prevent is as i told modify the risk factors you already know it so the basic three mantra is eat well sleep well and exercise well and one more thing is stop smoking so <clears throat> if you follow 
it is easier said than done but uh, these are the three things which uh, lead to a healthier heart and also one more thing just telling it uh, to lead a healthy life is not uh, such an easy task so one should get motivated to it so when do you get the motivation is when you are uh, <clears throat> told that you are at risk for it so to come to know whether you are at risk you have to get your uh, heart health checked so preventive health check is one of the most important uh, thing in the preventions how to know one's cardiovascular health sir so there are different uh, parameters to check so it starts with the personal history like smoking eating habits and uh, hypertension etc and also family history like uh, family history of diabetes hypertension heart attack strokes mm. and then <clears throat> it comes to the blood uh, test like uh, lipid profile which contains the hdl ldl and the triglycerides and <clears throat> there are also few other uh, blood markers like crp and homocysteine so this also can predict the heart health and apart from the blood test there are uh, there is a test called tmt which is treadmill test so the electrodes will be connected to your body and uh, <clears throat> it will be made to run on a treadmill and uh, depending on how much heart rate you achieve and what are the ecg changes which uh, come at that high heart rate uh, it gives a idea whether your heart is capable of reaching that heart beat or not heart rate or not and uh, one more test uh, which has come up uh, in the recent years is ct calcium score so sir so what is ct calcium score so ct calcium score is nothing but a ct scan only but it covers only a limited portion of your chest that is only covers the heart so it has a very low radiation risk it is just comparable to few chest x rays and uh, <clears throat> on the scan the, with artificial intelligence the software detects how much calcium is deposited in your coronary arteries and it gives a score and also uh, <clears throat> based on all these uh, parameters there are different calculators available on the net the most common is uh, american heart association and american uh, college of cardiology calculators uh, these when you enter these details like uh, your age gender uh, the blood tests and all so it gives a risk score so the person can be categorized into low risk uh, borderline intermediate and high risk so low risk means you have a less than 5% chance of getting a heart attack or stroke in the next uh, 10 years so in a borderline case it is 5 to 7.5% and in a intermediate it is 7.5 to 20 and in a high risk it is greater than 20% and <clears throat> what we can conclude from this uh, uh, risk score is that if it is less than 5% it's almost conclusive that you do not need any preventive uh, action and in high risk it is definitely needed like statins and aspirin and there is confusion in this borderline and intermediate risk that is when your risk lies between 5 and 20% so to solve this ct calcium score is one of the important uh, parameter which comes in handy sir who should get it done basically everyone in the range, in the age range of uh, 40 to 70 years should get it done and also if patients are very high risk Uh, when there is a significant family history they can start from 30 years also we have seen some cases even in 30 35 years being uh, high risk uh, on the ct calcium score there is much deposition of the calcium which is which is not appropriate for this ages so what to expect from ct calcium score so uh, the it gives a score depending on how, how much calcium is deposited within your uh, the blood vessels of the heart uh, <clears throat> it also gives a score like low uh, borderline and uh, moderate and high risk and uh, also as i said in the intermediate and borderline risk ct calcium score is uh, plays a important role so if uh, after entering the parameters if your risk is borderline or intermediate and there is ct calcium score which is zero that is no deposition of calcium so usually statins and aspirin is not recommended so and uh, if there is even a slight amount of deposition of calcium then you should be starting on uh, uh, statins and uh, aspirin so this is the important uh, <coughs> role of ct calcium score sir what is the difference between catheter angiogram and ct angiogram so uh, angiography is basically done to check the vessel of the hearts so 
it can be done either by catheter angiography or CT angiography. So catheter angiography is actually where uh, the cardiologist uh, inserts a uh, catheter from your either inner thigh or from the waist and uh, the <coughs> catheter will be passed till the heart and the uh, dye will be injected. So in this you will be, uh, once the dye is injected you will know the, whether the vessel is patent or not. But the disadvantage from uh, <coughs> Uh, this uh, catheter angiography is that you should get admitted and there are a number of uh, pre-investigation, the investigations uh, that needs to be done uh, before the procedure and uh, the cost also is more because you will be admitted and it requires a sophisticated equipment and uh, cardiologist to perform the procedure. And, uh, and also the risks with uh, catheterization of an artery are uh, more like it can cause uh, aneurysms, hematoma pseudoneurysms, etc. So, and also the recovery time, you should be at uh, rest for one or two days after the procedure. But these all disadvantages are uh, removed when you get a CT coronary angiography. So, you do not need admission, you can just come by and uh, if you are fasting for three hours, then we will take for the scan and then it is done in 10 to 15 minutes. So, it's uh, that's uh, how easy it is. How accurate is CT calcium score, sir? CT calcium score, uh, it gives a uh, score, so depending on which the physician can uh, take a call and uh, the one of the important thing is if the CT calcium score is zero, uh, the negative predictive value is uh, very high in this test. So if it is zero, that means you do not have uh, any disease of the cardiovascular disease. And uh, coronary angiography, uh, CT coronary angiography is uh, as accurate as uh, catheter angiography provided the heartbeat during the scan remains within 60 to 70 beats per minute. Sir, so what is the takeaway message for World Heart Day? So, the same three mantras, eat well, sleep well, exercise well and get your heart health checked. Thank you sir. This was the very knowledgeable discussion. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.